Welcome to this section on ratio analysis. First of all, what do we mean by ratio? You would have come across uh, ratios at your school level. You would have understood its uh, mathematical formula and all. But in financial management and banking, our focus is not only on the mathematical part because we can use ratios in several areas which will help us to establish relationship between financial figures and we can take uh, very very meaningful decisions okay let's uh, look into the meaning of ratio first ratio is basically a relationship between two numbers but the requirement is this relationship should be created on a logical way so that we can infer something from that relationship and we can take meaningful decisions let me repeat ratios are relationship between two numbers which are created in a logical way and it will enable the user of the ratio to take a meaningful decision but uh, how to appreciate this let's take an example let's say there are two companies company a and company b company a is making sales of 100 million company b is making sales of 500 million and let's say you are a prospective investor it means you have some money to invest and I'm showcasing these two companies to you and I'm going to ask you in which company you will invest if at all. Will you invest in company A or company B? Any common man would say company B reason is they are making good sales. When you compare sales of B with A it is five times of A sales. So any normal person would say that they wish to go with company B, but let me give you one more information. That's profit. Profit made by company A is 10 million, whereas profit made by company B is also 10 million. If I ask you again now in which company you are going to invest, will your answer remain same? Obviously, it could not be right. Because certainly you will change your mind from B to A. And why did all this happen? It's because you try to create some logical relationship between these two numbers that is sales and profit and you can derive profit margin. So what is profit margin for A? Their sales is 100 million, profit is 10 million. So 10 on 100 it is 10 percent. And if you look at B, there is profit of 10 million whereas their sales are 500 million. So it is not even 10 percent, it is only 2 percent. So which company would you invest? Obviously, your investment should go for company A and the deciding factor for you is that number or the percentage, 10 percentage and you compare the 10 percentage with 2 percent and 10 percent is better. Here you have created a logical relationship between the sales and profit and this relationship enabled you to take a better decision and that's the benefit of ratios. Just imagine earlier without profit you are favoring company B but when I supplied you profit, you created a logical relationship between sales and profit and you said no for B and you have shifted your attention from B to A. So we can see that, uh, I mean we can say this is the wonderful uh, use of ratios. We are creating logical relationship, we are taking better decisions. Okay. So in the following sessions, I will take you through various financial ratios. Are you struggling in understanding financial management concepts like time value of money, financial ratio analysis, cash flow analysis, fund flow analysis, cost of capital and capital structuring decisions, capital budgeting, and working capital management? Then this course is for you. Financial management a complete study. One of the comprehensive course in financial management at the most affordable price with lifetime access. Explore and enroll now.